Rams and Seahawks. No tougher assignment in football than a night game in Seattle with the 12s in the stands. That is some really, really intense action. I've been there. I've done it. My Thursday night football life has been in Seattle quite a bit. It's brought me to Seattle quite a bit. One year, it rained so damn hard, they delayed the start of the game because the turf bubbled up. I'll never forget that. I'll never. I will never. Pete Morelli was the uh, was the ref that night. Pete yeah. Morelli. Remember Pete Morelli? Man, I yeah. haven't heard that name. Pete in a Morelli while. was nicknamed when we were watching games with Pete Morelli. We we nicknamed him Monk because he had this whole Tony Shalhoub yeah. sort of calm quality Absolutely. about him. Pete Morelli was the. Uh, I'll never forget him walking around out there and like tamping down the field, you know, the bubbles in the field. And um, Holmgren was the coach of the Seahawks that that year. That's how long ago it was. That's how long ago it was, and we just watched the rain cascade off the Crazy. field right into our right into our set position. Um, it, I've never seen it rain that hard, and it, they delayed the game and it started. And Alex Smith and the 49ers had a hell of a night that night. I remember that. And um, and then we came back, and I remember this one. That um, this was before Russell Wilson arrived. Forget what year it was, but Marshawn was there, and we didn't know who to invite to the set because Marshawn wasn't coming after Seattle won. He basically said he's not coming to talk. And it was me and Mooch and Marshall and Irv and Dion. It was all five of us. And we we said, we'll take Pete Carroll. The network's like, Marshawn's not coming. Who else do you want? And at the time, this is before the Legion of Boom was booming. And we took Pete Carroll because the question I had for Pete was, what's the identity of your team? That's how long ago this was. This was before Russ and before the Legion started booming. And we were just wondering, you got Marshawn and who else here? Like, what's what what's your identity of your team? Like, you don't have much of an identity on offense other than, I guess, Marshawn. And then defensively, what are you trying to establish here? I was asking those questions as this true story. Fans were hucking Skittles at us. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> that was another Sunday night, uh, Thursday, uh, Thursday night game in Seattle. And each time I've been there, all I would know is just like I look at the stadium and I see to myself, how is it so damn loud in here? And mm-hmm. I think what it is is that that triangle it's end. Design. No, yeah. the design. It's it's the it, the design of the, the 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 covering of the roof that's over much of the the stands. Wait, kind of like right. And then it, and then there's yeah. like some triangle type, you know, yeah. stand, stand. Thir- like third level. It's, it's just some odd construction, and it is beautiful in that city, and it is incredible, yeah. and. And they, they get ready for their football games all day long. Oh, yeah. And tonight will be the first night game since the 12s are allowed back in the building. And I am genuinely concerned for the Rams' mm-hmm. ability yeah. to win this game. Russell Sir, Wilson, Rich, 9-1 and one on Thursday night football in his career. Wow. He is damn good Ooh. on these short weeks. Mm-hmm. So he just Pete. took my stat, Brockman. Sorry, TJ. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, you want to say just, it? No, I just texted ahead. to Brockman. No, you can go ahead and do it. it. You can go Did ahead you just it. text it to Chris and he uh, used it? About 20 minutes well, ago. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, 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 but we're, we're on the same gang here. Well, the reason why we're on the same gang here. We were talking about because he has a fantasy decision, you know, play Russ tonight or wait till Sunday and play Joe Burrow. And I'm trying to talk him out of Russ tonight. But he was like oh, nine and one on Thursday night football, and I'm like, I, I feel you. I wouldn't talk you out you. of playing. I, 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 I don't know. Burrow against the Packers just concerns me. It just does. I don't know. That's a big one too. For you see, Joe, know, Joe coming out here. I am. I'm three and one. Come on in, Aaron Rodgers. I really you want some of this relaxing. Here we go. Game. I really want to pick the Bengals this week. Ooh. That one. <laughs> that, uh, I don't the know, word, Chris. Don't the word, do it. Maybe. The word for that would be uh, gumption. <laughs> But I am concerned Brock for the Rams to tonight, man. I'm concerned for them. And that's how incredible how these things turn so fast. And, you know, they beat big. the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. The Arizona Cardinals just put the bang thing on them. And gotta now they got to go up to Seattle in this environment, short week. You know, Stafford, as you know, has one of the most wild sequences in the history of primetime football in Seattle. If you remember... It was a Monday night game when the Lions were there and he flew through one to Calvin Johnson who fumbled the ball forward. Do you remember that? And the Seahawks 
ball in the end zone batted it out. Oh, KJ yeah, Wright right. batted KJ, it I out of the end that. zone. And that was supposed to go back because he batted it out of the end zone, was supposed to go back to the Lions at the spot of the fumble. And for whatever reason, it didn't they happen. Wrong, right. They were ready to, the Lions were ready to beat the Seahawks in Seattle on a Monday night when that would have probably eliminated a lot of people from their survivor pool in that one. I think I got that sequence right, right? Remember Calvin was going I in, do balls remember that. loose. I do remember balls that. loose, and KJ Wright just swats it. And it was it. Yep, you fumbled through the end zone. It's like, no, no, he batted it out. Ball should have gone back to um Calvin anyway, because it was in the final two minutes of a of a of a of a half. Yeah, so that was uh, I remember that 2015. Yeah, bro. Uh, Detroit went on a 10-play, 90-yard drive in the fourth quarter. Calvin Johnson fumbled under two minutes yeah. to go. Yeah. And the only one that can recover is in, with under two minutes to go, it, you know, other than the defense, is the member who fumbled it. And it should have gone back to Calvin when K.J. Wright batted it out yes. of the end zone. So and K.J. They Wright knocked it out of the back of the end zone. Play was ruled a touchback. Yeah. Giving Seattle the ball. However, Wright should have been penalized Correct. for illegally batting it out of the end zone. Right. The play is not reviewable, however, so they got it incorrect. The rule, if applied correctly, yeah. would have given the Lions first and goal at the one. Correct. I remember that. Jeez. Stafford's back in that house tonight. The drama just ratcheted up because the NFC West, if the Rams fall to they beat the Bucks at home to go to three and oh and then fall to oh and two in division within a four day span. How huge is that? And if the Rams win this one, then Seattle falls to two and three mm -hmm. behind a four and one team with the Cardinals welcoming Trey Lance into their house. Now, I wouldn't sleep on Niners this weekend, too. How about this? How about this? Hold on a second. What if, what if Rams win tonight? Totally feasible. Totally feasible. What if They're Trey Lance shows up and proves to be to use the phrase that I referred to, Kyler Murray is his nickname, The Problem. What if he pr provides a problem for the 49ers? Nobody's ever seen Trey Lance play an NFL game start, okay? The game where he started. Nobody's seen it. No idea. Nobody's seen Trey Lance play a game in which he's taken snaps of the ones all week. What if Trey Lance wins that one? Not out of the realm either. Not out of the realm. Not out a little, of the realm. A little more unlikely, Rich, because what if I told you the Rams are favored tonight? I'd believe that. I'd be surprised, but I, I, nothing's out of the realm is what I'm saying in right. the NFC West. Right. If this happens, Rams win tonight, Niners win this weekend. Okay. The deep end of the pool, as I've described it, is the, the NFC West, a little deeper. would be each game played in division. The first two weeks of round robin play in division would have been won by the road team. Oh. Arizona won in L.A. last week. Yep. Seattle won in San Francisco last week. San Francisco could win in Arizona, and then the Rams win in Seattle. It would be like, okay, so the two teams with the wins on the road last week just lost their first division games at home, and the two teams that lost their first division games at home last week just won their road division games, and everybody's now one and one, which would make, kind of make sense, wouldn't it? Makes or sense. Arizona proves that they're better than everyone else. Hold home serve, even if the Rams win tonight, and they're still in first place. 2-0 and the only 2-0 and team in division. How about that? Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.